If you're just joining us, it is Sunday morning and we are essentially recovering at the moment from 13 hours of violence in this country. Of course, we had El Paso where 20 people were killed in a mass shooting and overnight, just a few hours ago, starting at 1 a.m., another shooting, nine people have died, 16 are injured in Dayton, Ohio. And in fact, there was a man, Isaac Johnson, who was there at 1 a.m. Here's what he saw. Oh, dude, what the what the Now, part of what is so jolting about that, uh, I'm sure you recognized, is it starts out with the pop, pop, pop of bullets uh, at, a, a, at a regular pace. It, it, or, I don't know what a regular pace is, but at a small, smaller, shorter pace, and then all of a sudden, a barrage of gunshots. That's because that suspect was shot dead uh, by police officers, and you, you essentially heard that happen, and I want to be very sensitive to this, because as we heard those gunshots going off, we were... Let's be honest, we were hearing people die. We talked to Isaac Johnson about what he saw and, and what he was doing in that moment. Let's listen. I'll be honest, I, don't, I didn't really know at first because I, I, I take my girlfriend to work and pick her up on the weekend, usually there. And there's always nice motorcycles and cars, so I take videos and uh, I was kind of sitting there waiting for one and I heard a pop and I kind of thought maybe they were doing fireworks or something. Just like it was just one or two right before I started the video. And then it was like three or four and I kind of like fireworks are timed to be like specifically like five seconds or three seconds apart or right back to back. And those were just spaced out uneven. So I was like, excuse my profanity in that. But yeah, I was like, what's, what's going on? And then I saw people start running and cars just started coming out of the intersection like recklessly. I was I was just confused really. I didn't even I didn't even get out of the car because I was just sitting there like watching everything happen. I saw the window going up and down. Uh, did you get the sense that were you trying to protect yourself in that moment? Uh, I don't really know. I I think I was gonna get like I was thinking since it's gun so I should go inside, but. And then I was, at the same time, I was looking at my phone and I was like, well, I, uh, I need to record this. So I, I don't know, I just like was sitting there deciding if I needed to roll my window down to see what was happening there, if I needed to get out and go inside. Isaac, is your girlfriend okay? Uh, yeah, she is, thankfully. Did, was she at, in front of or in the building near where this happened? Um, no, she's actually at work at the at the Dublin pub, and um, a few. I know there was a couple that came in, and the woman was, and she was like extremely in shock. She, they were in uh, med, and I guess she said that they heard a couple shots, and people rushed the door, and they just all dropped. And then another one of her coworkers was at a nearby uh, restaurant or bar or something. She heard a few shots and they, everyone there was like diving on the ground, hitting the bar and she was, I mean, I honestly, I experienced nothing. Like I was just, I was like the car pretty much. Nobody was paying attention to me. I was just there kind of, and it was just crazy. So Isaac, we, we see through your video that you got out of the car. What happened after that? Uh, I actually walked up to the door and I was about to go inside and then I started looking back because I was just kind of confused. I was like, I don't know. I didn't know if it, it's like, because it, it, it stopped. So I was like, uh, I didn't know. Like I could, uh, I, it sounded to me like there's a few guns, like one gun doesn't fire that fast, obviously. I don't know if there's cops already like on the, on the street or what, but 
Did you yeah. see, we saw the people running in your video. Did you talk to anybody before you got back uh, in your car? No, I didn't. I talked, I just sat and I kind of just heard the people across the room and I know, like, I wasn't really trying to, like, ease up, but I could just kind of see by how she was talking. She was, like, putting her hands over her head and, like, when, um, she's, I heard her when she came in and saw, she saw someone get shot. I already knew that, so I was just kind of, by how many shots is what it was, I saw I was wondering, I was I didn't want to ask, like, did you see? Sure. I didn't want to ask any questions, you know what I mean? But, I, yeah, what? that that's a little excessive, if you ask me. That's pretty crazy. That's just insane. So I want to bring in CNN White House correspondent Boris Sanchez in Berkeley Heights, New Jersey, near where the president is staying this weekend. Uh, Boris, um, it was 13 hours since uh, El Paso. This is just happened and then the Dayton shooting happened. This happened uh, several hours ago, about one o'clock in the morning. Do we know if the president has been briefed? Hey there, Christy. No indication yet from the White House that President Trump has been briefed on the shooting in Dayton. Uh, if he hasn't been briefed already, it's safe to assume he likely will be soon. And we expect the president uh, to respond to this as he often has had to with condolences for a community grieving uh, ravaged by gun violence. As far as the shooting in El Paso, the president put out this statement last night on Twitter. He writes, quote, today's shooting in El Paso, Texas was not only tragic, it was an act of cowardice. I know that I stand with everyone in this country to condemn today's hateful act. There are no reasons or excuses that will ever justify killing innocent people. Melania and I send our heartfelt thoughts and prayers to the great people of Texas. The president there alluding to the shooter's hateful motive in the shooting in El Paso. Unclear if the president will address white nationalism and white nationalist violence further. Christy. Boris Sanchez, we appreciate it so much. Thank you.